Hello and welcome to a Smurd P video and this is a review that I probably meant to do several months ago uh, when it was released. Um, so this is a, a quick overview of Bernard Cromwell's Sharp's Command. Um, a return to um, Sharp which is always greatly appreciated. Big fan of Sharp and big big fan of the stories that Bernard has uh, written. So we have on the front cover, we have Sharp in the distance looking out. We have a lovely bridge there. We have a sword in the ground, maybe a grave and a raven or a crow, which usually shows the sign of death. Um, that could just be my opinion, <laughs> but it's usually associated with death. <laughs> then, in fact, it carries on. In fact, let me just do this like this. There we go. So you can see all of it all the way around. In fact, that is literally the same. Sorry, it's literally the same picture, but without the sword in there. And I can only gather that that is sharp, still looking out at the same position. So what happens between the back picture and the front picture is um, quite interesting. So it'll be simple, Major Sharp. March 100 miles behind enemy lines. Have a sniff around the enemy forts. And come back to tell us what you discover. What can go wrong? Sharp said nothing. Um, so that is clearly an extract from the story. Um, but clearly something is going to go wrong. It always goes wrong. That's what makes these stories so good. Um, so Sharp is a major again. So this is back in time. We have a little extract on Bernard Cornwell. I think I've been saying Cromwell all this time. I'm sorry. Um, then we got a little synthesis there. If any man can do the impossible, it's Richard Sharp. And it just has a little synthesis there. Uh, I'm not going to read it all, but you're welcome to pause that and have a good look. Uh, in terms of the book, so 95th Rifles on there, which is very cool. And then on there, we've got a um, collector's edition, swords, the crow, and then Bernard... Conwell uh, signature. Let me just adjust my camera because I feel like this next bit will go a little bit better. I'm not sure what well, I've been doing with the lighting all this time as well. So, let me open this up. Careful, Richard Sharp and the Bridge at Almaraz, May 1812. Uh, no idea what that says. Harper Collins, who I think he has worked with. Since the dawn of time, the usual map, which I love on here, and then straight into chapters. I don't think it even gives you a... No, no, it doesn't. So, chapter one. So, how many chapters does it have? That is always a question. So, it has 299 pages. And let's see. Sorry, this is always the awkward bit. This is the bit that I should probably do before I actually do the video. I feel like 299 to 300 pages is usually a nice book. So it has 10 chapters. So these are 10 <laughs> long chapters, um, which um, which is normal for a book. I'm sorry, that's really zoomed in there, isn't it? Is that going to mess up? Probably. And then at the back, it does have... Oh, no, wrong bit. It has the historical notes, which I do enjoy reading. Um, on what where he's got his historical information from. I do enjoy that. And then at the back, it tells you all the books you can get. And there is some real, real <laughs> decent books in there. In fact, they're all decent. I love them all. And then just, you know, some other stuff that... Bernard has written. He should promote himself. He is amazing as such. So there we go. There is a very, very quick overview of this book. Um, I think the, the only problem I would find as, as a collector in terms of these books, I mean, to be honest with you, I've, I've been reading uh, Sharp on Amazon Kindle um, rather than buying the books. I did buy some first editions a while back. I got very lucky. Um, but... <laughs> I feel like I, I prefer to read these on Kindle, which is a surprise to me as well, because I've always been very physical. Now, 
if I could get like if if they redid these sets and they were all released in sort of nice hard backs, I feel like I would certainly be interested in. Um, because the only problem with buying it, sorry, got too excited there. Um, <laughs> the only reason by buying it like this, even though the last book came out like this, is they're not going to match with the rest of your collection. It's um, and it is um, as a, as a collector probably think that does um frustrate me because i if i'm buying a set i want them all to look the same so anyway that that's just my view so anyway there's my quick overview hope you like the video if you do please support my channel by subscribing thank you for watching thank you to those already subscribed to my channel make sure you look after yourself very important these days and as always embrace geekiness take care goodbye